Hi everyone, this is Compelt. Thank you for checking this video out on how to make a cursor and how to make your own cursor set so you can use on your computer show, uh, so you can impress your friends, whatever you need. Alright, so uh, I give all credit to this video idea and inspiration to make this video to Kyle. This is his YouTube page. I'm not sure if this is how you pronounce his name, but his name is Kianzar. Kianzar. Alright, so go ahead, add him as a friend. His link will be in the description of this video. Leave him a comment saying thanks for the video idea. Alright, so uh, he gave me the link to the program and it's called Icon Art 2.0. Go ahead, download it. It's very small, not even a megabyte. So, download it fast, easy install. Uh, you're good to go. Okay, so here's Icon Art. I opened it up and I'm also going to use my Adobe Fireworks CS3 just so I could get cleaner images. Okay, but first let me show you how easy it is to make an icon off Icon Art. So, just don't mind the fireworks right now. Let's use this uh, pencil tool, pen tool, and keep in mind the mask color. Whatever the mask color is will not be seen on your cursor. This way there's no boxy filling to your cursor, and you have a nice transparent looking cursor. Alright, so, um, as long as your pen color is not the same color as your mask color, everything's great. Let me just draw something like a... Y for YouTube. Okay, so there's a Y, and uh, okay, so that's what our cursor is going to look like. You can see right here in the preview box, the white part is what a uh, our cursor is going to look like. The black part is not what's going to show. Is what isn't the black part is not what's going to show in the cursor. The next thing you want to do is go to Hot Spot and set it. So let's click this arrow, and you can see right here there's like a little pointer thing, a little uh precision point. Put it to wherever you want on the cursor where the clicking will actually happen, okay? Where everything will highlight and stuff. So usually you want it to be on the left hand corner, top left top hand corner. Click accept and this is it. You simply go to file, save frame as cursor and make sure it says cursor files dot cur, okay? And let's set this as a test and click save. Right here you'll see test and it should look something like that. Let's go ahead and go into the control panel and I'll show you how to set the cursor. By the way, if you have a lot of time on your hands, continue watching this video. If not, watch it another time. So you want to go to appearance and themes and you want to go to mouse pointers. This little thing should pop up this window. Go to pointers tab, the pointers tab, and you'll see right here. This is the icon set I have made for myself. Go to normal select, double click it, Go to your desktop or wherever you saved your test cursor and double click that. Click apply, yes, and OK. So there you go. There's my Y cursor. It's not detailed or anything, but uh, you know, that's that's the cursor. Let me go ahead and change it back. Pointers. And I'll go to desktop, master, cursor pack, and default pointer. Apply, yes, and OK. Alright, so that's how to make a basic cursor with Icon Art. Now I'm going to show you how to make more of a detailed cursor. What you want to do is open up Adobe Fireworks CS3. Make a canvas the size 32 by 32. So let me show you. File, New, Canvas Size 32 by 32. And this is the most important part. Okay, well, first, yeah, set your canvas, whatever. Okay, it doesn't matter the canvas color. We'll set that right now. Go to Modify Canvas, Canvas Color, and go to Custom, and your my, your custom might be on black. Click this, and scroll over to Icon Art, and select the Mask Color. And there you go, it sets it, okay? Even though that color is not even in Adobe Fireworks, so that's a very good feature. Press OK, you should see this background. So whatever whatever is on top of that background will not show in icon art or on the cursor that you're going to make. All right. So now you can pretty much draw whatever you want, you know, your whole design, uh, do the fades that you want, do whatever you want. This way, if you're in icon art and you're trying to like make your fades and everything in your icon, uh, it's going to be really hard to get it exactly how you want. Okay. So because everything just is so boxy right here, you don't have much of a customization area or I don't know how you would call it 
Well, for me, I've made my own custom layout, so I'm going to right-click it up here, open with Adobe Fireworks CS3. Okay, so this is my layout, okay, for my cursor set. You can see it right there. Thank you, Kyle, for making this uh, layout for me. really helped a lot. Okay, so let's just say I want my, in the center, to be, I don't know, an L for no apparent reason. Type in L, place it right there, and we'll set it to white. There's the L. Okay, so now we're going to press File, Save As, save it as a .bmp on your desktop. So let's save this as L Cursor, and click Save. Let's go back to Icon Art, File, New Project, Cursors, Simple Cursor, and let's go ahead and get rid of that. I think that's the uh, color. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get rid of that cursor. File, import from file. We made this L cursor.bmp file. Now it's already set at 32 by 32, so you don't have to select anything. Just click the check mark up here. And there you go. There's the L cursor. Oops. There's the L cursor. File, save as cursor, yada yada, and so on. And then you just set it through the control panel, appearance and themes cursors, cursor tab, you know, that whole bit. Let's make an animated cursor this time. Let's go to File, New Project, no, I don't want to save that, Cursors, Animated Cursor, I'm going to set it to two frames. There we go. Click Animated Cursor, now we have two frames here, two boxes. Let's say I want it to blink the L, okay? We're going to go to File, Import from File, L Cursor, check mark, so there's the L, and we're going to click this box, File, Import from File, and I already have my layout in my cursor pack, Layout, check. So there's the empty layout, and there's the L on there. So as you can see, if it plays, it's going to blink. Go to Interval, set it as fast as you want. 50 is pretty slow, I think. Oh, it's really fast. Uh, 150 is slow. So there you go, you see it uh, blinking when you click the preview, right there. There it is. So that's what your icon will look like if you set it to that. Uh, if you have, let's say, the help select, uh, or the link, L for link, yeah, that's pretty cool. L for link, uh, you can set this blinking thing every time you scroll over a link. That would look pretty cool, eh? So uh, just do that, file. Save any cursor for animated cursor. Uh, save it, yada yada. S then you just select it the same exact way through appearance and themes, cursor, uh, cursor tab, and so on. So that's how to make a cursor. Um, to make your own layout, you know, you just draw whatever you want. Um, you could pretty much get the general idea. Uh, you just zoom in. Draw some kind of triangle. You see, uh, keep in mind you could draw whatever you want when you are in fireworks for it to, to be your cursor. So we can make like a triangle like that. Fill it in with some dark red. Who knows? Okay, and we will go ahead and uh, create a, cur a circle. We don't want it filled in. We want it to be black. Just like that, you know, something simple for a beginner cursor. Move right there, and just as I did, put in a letter. Or you can draw your own logo in there. Whatever you want. Okay, so this is your cursor set. You make it how you want. Um, I don't know if I can really go into much more detail. This is a very hard video to do. This is my fifth attempt. Attempt. Because there's just so much to talk about. I know this video is over 10 minutes, I think. Oh, yeah. It's, it's about 10 minutes. Well, that's actually a record time. So, uh, yeah. That's how you make it. An animated cursor. That's how to make a regular cursor. That's how to make a cursor from fireworks. I don't know what, what else you guys want. If you have any questions, go ahead and message me at my YouTube account. Because uh, I know I didn't go over everything in this video. That's how to use the program Icon Art. Thank you, Kyle, again.
please add him as a friend on the YouTube channel. This link will be in the description. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe to me if you like this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.